you've probably already heard the news by now. Google is going to be updating Android next year to prevent everyone from sideloading APK files unless the developer of that app has registered it with the Mountain View tech giant directly. After this news created a massive uproar within the community, the company had to come out and say that it was being implemented for security purposes only. And they wanted to reassure us that we could still sideload unregistered APK files on our phone, but it would require us to install them via ADB. And while doing this is not the most difficult thing in the world to do, that does require you to have a computer, which is something that not everyone has access to. So the community began to work on a way to avoid this specific issue. So today, I'm gonna to be showing off an application called Any APK. We're gonna talk about where you can install this from and how you can use it so that you can sideload APK files onto your Android device without the APK file needing to be registered with Google. Let's take a look. While this process does not require you to have a separate PC to sideload APK files, it will need your phone to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. But I don't think that Wi-Fi network needs to have access to the internet. Android is just using it to create a local ADB connection through the wireless network itself. Because we'll be using the wireless debugging feature that's built directly into the Android operating system here. The first thing that you'll need to do is visit the GitHub project page for the application called Any APK. And I'll be sure to have this page linked down below, but it's from a developer named Sam1am, AKA Sam I am, if you end up having trouble finding it. Check out the releases page for this project to find the latest version of the APK file. After it has been downloaded, you can tap on that notification that it creates or find the APK file within your favorite file management app and then launch it from there. After the app has been sideloaded, go ahead and open it up and we can begin the setup process. And for this app to work, it needs to use some of the features offered by the Android operating system. So if you haven't enabled developer mode yet, now is the time to do so. And for those who may not be familiar with that process, I can link to a dedicated guide for developer mode directly below this video. Once you find that newly revealed developer options menu, tap into it and then scroll down a little bit until you see the debugging section. Scroll a little bit more and you should see a feature labeled wireless debugging. The toggle will be disabled by default, but we're actually going to tap on the text itself instead of the toggle. When you're ready, we're going to enable wireless debugging. We're gonna to say to always trust this network. From here, the developer tells you to activate the recents so that you can open the settings application in split screen mode and then open the any APK file in the bottom panel. So now we're gonna tap on pair device with pairing code. And then at the bottom here, we're gonna tap enter pairing code. That our pairing code is 214337. And our port here is 39093. Tap on pair, refresh. And you're gonna see it is connected and ready to be used. After you have set up the Any APK application and you see that it is connected, you can now install any APK file just like you normally would with a computer using ADB, except all of the technical stuff is gonna be done in the background and you will be able to install any APK file that you want, even after Google implements the side loading restrictions that you've been hearing about so much lately. So you can choose to do it directly from within the app. So we tap the select APK file to install. This gives us our file browser. We're just going to use the root checker app as a test. After that app has been loaded, we tap on install APK. 
and then you should get a toast message saying that it has been installed successfully. You can come down here, look for the root checker app and open it to make sure that it does work correctly. And I only use the root checker app as a, an example. This process does not require root access and it can be completed from start to finish without the phone needing to be rooted. So we've been told that starting in 2026, Google will require every app developer to fill out a form and agree to Google's terms and conditions. We've been told that they will need to submit a government issued ID card and they must then upload evidence of the app's private signing key. They must also list all current and future application identifiers. And to top it all off, they're even being forced to pay Google a fee. And that's just to be allowed for your APK file to be installable on Android, even if you ignore the Google Play Store and all other Android requirements. This is not something that many open source app developers are used to, and it's going to cause a lot of them to ignore this new system and ignore Android entirely. So if you have found that the APK files you're trying to install are being blocked by this new restriction from Google, then the app I showed you here today could be one of the easiest ways to bypass that restriction. And if you're opposed to this new change, I highly recommend you visit this page here and make sure you tap on the star icon in the top left corner. The community is hoping that if enough people register interest in this report, then Google will reconsider its plan changes. And I'll be sure to have this linked down below. But even if they don't, we should still have a manual option with ADB or a built-in solution like any APK. Now, I have to ask that you give this video a like so YouTube knows that it's been useful. Click on that new hype button that they have been advertising lately and subscribe to the channel too for more Android tips like this.